so yeah, so it's a it's an unfamiliar looking cemetery, um, but it seems much quieter than the place you were in before. Um, and uh, you can yeah you can navigate through it if you guys want to stop and like get your bearings. Um, someone can spout lore about this place, try and fit it into your map of uh, of, the, of the city. Can we rest there? Can we rest. Um, the trace? Yeah, I mean you could try and find like a bench and like hang out. Sure. <laughs> Let's try. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a lot quieter than the place you've been before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So when you uh, when you rest, when you make camp, um, is anybody gonna take watch, or are you just kind of all gonna like hang out and rest? Um. Well, the, we need a guard. Oh yeah. So do I do I need to like roll anything for that, or can I just say that he's kind of. Watching. Um, you, if you if you feel like you can rely on him to to protect you or to warn you of danger, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay. How does he do that? Does he like burrow into the ground and like listen for vibrations or what? Yeah. What is a how, how does yeah. this worm protect you? He burrows. That's cool. exactly what he does. Cool. Also in a graveyard, kind of gross, probably. But... Yeah, really gross. <laughs> mm, he's gonna go eat some decomposed people. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. So he burrows underground, and you guys find a, a spot that you can uh, you can rest. Um, and as you're like getting set up to sit down, um, you notice that you can see from here, off in the distance, it's visible from some parishes. Um, the city, uh, a long time ago, absorbed a plane that had a, um, a fairly closely orbiting moon, and the moon got stuck too, mm -hmm. and got caught on this brass tower <laughs> that part of the city has. So you can see the moon and the tower, and the moon is like stuck to it. Oh, um, sweet! Off yeah. in the distance, so it's providing some light uh, for where you're resting. So we can see ditch water. Uh, you might be able to navigate from here, yeah, based on yeah. where the moon is. Um, cool. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, the make camp uh, move. Um, everybody who wants to make camp uh, consumes a ration. One of my so rations. Mark, mark off a ration. Mark nothing. Okay. Yeah, if you're a druid, nothing. yeah. Um, I have you no can, rations. You can I have heal. one extra ration that I, I, I stole a sweet bun. Can oh, I? is anybody is is anybody gonna feed anybody gonna feed Lord Snuff? He complains loudly, and so does his stomach. I'll give him a ration. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give ration him to he totally did. Yeah, did. I'll give don't him give that guy yeah. anything. <laughs> You're you're his new best friend, V, with your cool, with your cool sword well, did, and your I food. Push him. I pushed him, so I feel bad. That's true. <laughs> I'll give him one of my lashes. Leo can also have one of my lashes, because I owe him for paying the gold. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. Okay, cool. Well, I still have this sweet bun that you guys can... You could just eat it. They're delicious. True. But if, little, if they need it later, would that count as a ration? Yeah, it might. Yeah. But I'll it's not going to stay good it. for long, right? It's not like a rations are prepared to okay, last. Fine. This is kind of a, <laughs> it's like a hot cross bun or some cinnamon on it. So. Um, okay, uh, everyone who rests can recover either uh, half their max HP. So if you have like 20 hit points, you can get 10 uh, up to your max, obviously. Or you can recover a debility. So you can um, like, Char, you can get rid of Confused. Um, and Leo, you can get rid of that ongoing minus one. That's a minus one to everything, though, right? Yeah, it's not actually a debility. You can get rid of that just for resting. That's okay, why so... it's worse. Yeah, so you get half your total hit points. Uh huh. So if if you're if you're above half, you're at full, basically. Right. And um, that. And or... yeah, and the minus one. The minus one goes away because it's it's harsher during play, right? It's a minus one to everything, so I'll let you just get away with it. Cool. Or, like, get rid of it. Sweet. Um. So Shar, you have to decide if you want to get rid of confused, or there's still rocks rattling around in your brain, or get <laughs> half your hit points. I think I'm just going to heal up because cool. I'm eight down right now, so I might as well just... Still confused. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? Why am I <laughs> making these choices? Who are these people? <laughs> okay, cool. Does anyone have enough experience points to level up? I do. Yay! Okay. Yeah. So the level up move uh, allows you to subtract... I'm your, 11. <laughs> subtract your current wow. level plus seven from your experience. So you should have some left over. Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. Uh, take uh, eight from your total. Keep whatever's mm -hmm. left. Okay. And then mark that you are now level two. Okay. Uh, choose one of your stats. 
Um, so these are the double digit ones. Uh huh. Increase it by one. Okay. Check check on your character sheet to see if it raises the modifier. So like if you go from. Oh yeah. yeah. I can't remember the math, but if you go from like there, you might be able to pass the you. threshold. Yeah. So I'm raising. I'm raising. Sorry. By how much? Uh, just by one. One. Okay. Yeah. If you raise your constitution, your maximum and current hit points both go up by one. I'm going to raise my charisma to nine, okay. which makes my modifier for it zero. Yay, no more minus one. Yeah. Um, and then uh, flip over your character sheet and pick an advanced move. For your yeah. Okay. So characters, um, characters in Dungeon World tend to expand... Um, out instead of up. So like a D and D character will get better and better at the stuff they already do, but Dungeon World characters get more and more ways to do the stuff they're good at or expanded ways to do. So you can like have an additional land so you can turn into more stuff or you can turn into you could summon the elements to do your bidding or you, you get new cool powers rather than um, just getting like bonuses to hit. Cool. Um, did anybody else have enough to level up? Anybody else have eight? I did not yet. Okay. Did? did you so B, B, you said you do? Yeah, eight, eight points. Okay. Did you did you catch all that? Do you want me to go over it again? Oh no, I I did the it? same thing. I did nine and zero to my charisma because it was on eight negative one. <laughs> Somehow, all all of this action is making you guys more charismatic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talking to all these strangers. Did you pick an advanced movie? Are you still looking? I am. Um, I was looking at Mark of Minds. I think I might choose that one. Nice. When you take this move and spend some time uninterrupted reflecting on your past glories, you may mark yourself with a symbol of your power, a long braid tied with bells, ritual scars or tattoos, etc. Any intellect, intelligent mortal creature who sees this symbol knows instinctively that you are a force to be reckoned with. And treats you appropriately. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Do you want to take that move? Yeah. Okay. So you just like while everyone's sleeping, you're just like stick and poke tattooing yourself. <laughs> I'm just tattooing my arm. With like a cool bee. <laughs> yeah. Do it with your left bee. hand. Kill a bee tattoo on my. Yeah, arm. totally. I got the Wu Tang symbol <laughs> on my arm now, so everybody knows I'm awesome. Yeah. Not to yeah. be fucked with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my thing. Oh, damn. Red. I picked one from the wrong side. Shit. Yeah, there's two sets. There's like <laughs> two, two to five and the six to ten. Darn it. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to do form crap. No, no. Uh, I that's not right. Sorry, I, I got it's okay. confused. Um, do you want us to, to continue? And you can yeah, continue and I'll go? pick. Okay, perfect. Okay, so... Um, you guys uh, finish resting. You eat some food. Um, time doesn't really seem to pass here in terms of like the moon obviously doesn't move because it's stuck on that bronze tower. Um, it doesn't get any lighter. It's still kind of like evening. Um, and you're, you're <clears throat> able to, to go on. Um, does somebody want to try and figure out where, uh, where you are based on um, where the moon is and, and your approximate distance from it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who wants to do that? I could do that. Uh, does anybody want to help? I'll help. Okay. Yay. So, B, I why don't you my move as well? Roll plus wisdom, uh, B. Yeah. And then, uh, Lizelle, roll uh, plus number of bonds you have. Plus, I have one. I just haven't okay. come up with it yet. Ten. All right. Wow. So, um, I'll tell you something interesting, um, but I uh, I won't uh, I won't tell you how to make it useful. Um, <laughs> So while you're looking around, it's actually Lord Snuff that figures out where you are. So he, like, you're you're like kind of looking around, trying to triangulate your your business, and you feel him like tugging on your sleeve, or your arm, or your hair, or whatever's nearby that he can reach. <laughs> um, and he's like, "Hey, hey, I know where we are." Where are we? She's trying to look at him. And he's like, "This is White Garden," and uh, I think and he like looks around. He's like, "I think if we go that way." We can get back to my house. How far is it from here? Um, he says, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Distance in this place is relative. 
Uh, I mean, it's only it's only one parish. Last time I checked, I don't bury relatives very often. But uh, yeah, I don't know where I don't know where Ditchwater is, but I live that way. Okay. Should we so head in that you, direction then? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to follow yeah. his his direction? For sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So as you are passing through the cemetery, um, you notice uh, you'll pass by occasionally um, like funereal rites. Like you walk by, there's like a placid lake and there's a group of men and women um, who they, they appear to be human, but with big blue wings made out of ice that they've got folded around them. Um, they're wearing uh, scale like armor. They're all gathered around this lake and there's a big boat in the middle of the lake on fire. Um, so there's like a funeral that you go past. You see a few other like funereal like processions for different like cultures as you move through uh, through White Garden. Um, you notice, I think Leo, you see this because maybe you've seen the sign before. Um, mm -hmm. There's a there's some graffiti scratched into a lamp post nearby that catches your eye as you go. Um, it's it looks like a um, like a human skull with uh, like lips painted on it in lipstick. Um, like bright pink lipstick. Um, do you recognize this symbol? Have you seen it before? Yeah, I think it's the symbol of Zyme, the brothel. <laughs> yeah, oh so it's like God. that way. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so they're just shamelessly advertising here in the in the graveyard. Totally. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, so you're 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 That's still bad. on track. You're moving away from it at least. Um, so you guys continue on through the uh, the the area and. Um, you come to a big iron gate and beyond the gate, you can see like, it's, it's a very weird disconnect because here it's all like somber and gloomy and kind of foggy. And the gate is made out of iron and right through it, you can see what looks like a spring meadow. There's like, hmm. like, um, deer frolicking amidst like daffodils and shit. And <laughs> it's like, literally right through the gate and, and snuff is like, that's it. That's home. I got it. Let's go. And he like starts waddling off away from you in that direction. Nice. I mean, follow him. Follow, yeah. yeah okay. Follow. All right. So he gets closer, um, and then he stops. And you can see uh, directly in front of him, uh, out of the fog, uh, Char, a familiar form, appears. Um, that woman in the tattered dress emerges from the, uh, from the fog. Um, and now and all, of can you all, can, see her? all of you can see her. Yeah. Okay. Um, she's holding like a parasol over one shoulder and her like purse is still like dripping uh, off of her elbow and she's got her face covered and she stops uh, just like appears and then snuff obviously like stops and like yelps and then runs and hides behind B. What do you guys do? Does she do anything? She just appears. She's just blocking your way. Yeah. I'm going to try um, and communicate with her. Okay. What do you say? Who goes the <laughs> tax dress? She, what do you want? She points at uh, Lord Snuff and then gestures like, give him to me. Why? Uh, yeah, so why. Snuff is like looking around nervously and saying things like, I don't know her. Who is that? Who is this person? What's going on? <laughs> um... And uh, you hear, Leo, I think you hear her voice. Um, she doesn't speak, but you he all of you hear it in your head. Uh, but Leo, you can tell she's addressing you. Um, and you hear her say, um, he owes me. I look to Snuff. Snuff? Is this something you haven't like, told us? He puts his what hands up. He's done? like, I don't, I don't know who this crazy broad is. Well, one way or the he's other. Like, he's straight up lying to you. Like, uh, no I, question. I crack my three fingers. Well, one way or the other, <laughs> we were hired to protect you, regardless of your sins. So, no, you can't have him. Uh, she says, what if I pay you for him? You have to pay me more than he's paying me now. Like, a lot. <laughs> like, double. Snuff just gets, like, like wide-eyed, and he's like, no, man, no, please. I mean, <laughs> she, if you can pay me crazy. more... You, you don't know what she's going to do to me. Yeah, just, just, like, just get me home. And, and my wife... She will give you whatever you want, man. We are we are so rich. You don't even know how rich. Rich beyond your wildest imaginings. Prove I don't, it. Like triple. Prove it. I, I can't. I don't have my wallet on me, man. It's through there in the if meadow. If you're so rich, why are you hiring bodyguards? Because rich people need protection. Why wouldn't Come you on, just have bodyguards please. that are always with you? 
and he like throws himself on his hairy knees and like you know if you were this like rich begging. and you had enemies this strong i think you'd hire more than four of us you there i said to the woman you can pay double what he's paying now he's yours uh she she moves forward the the fog sort of parts and she like floats towards you um what do the rest of you feel about turning your fat friend over to her Especially Shar, what do you what do you think? Is this she's given you some bad vibes in the past? I mean, yeah, I don't like this woman. I don't want to be anywhere near her, quite frankly. And it's all about money for us, right? So Fluff's, Fluff's been giving us some issues. Yeah, he stole rations. So when when he realizes that Leo, when he realizes that Leo won't help him, he looks at the rest of you like, "Come on, we we've, we've been through so much together. Remember with the goblins? That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, guys, please!" And he's like all sweating and. Airy, Is there anything sad. else we can do to settle the debt with this strange woman? Mm, yeah, you want to ask her that? Mm. Yeah. Uh, she says, um, one soul is as good as another. I'll take one of you in his place. Mm. Peace. No, I'm good with Bye, Snuff. Hold on, turn on. Over. Money, money. <laughs> money first. You need that pizza money. Mm, okay, uh, I think you can roll to, to parlay. I think you have a little bit of leverage. You have something she wants. Um, let's see how she how she reacts. Oh, God. Can someone with higher charisma parlay? Nope. Is it me? Is your, your, your plan, exactly. man. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Two, three, six, ten. Ten. <laughs> Woo! Oh, nice. Very good. Perfect. All right. So she says, um, she says, I'll, uh, I'll pay you every uh i'll pay you every silver he promised you and show you the way back to ditchwater and you'll have the favor of the dimmer sisters as long as you live just give us the fat man that's a pretty good deal sounds good um if anybody when you hear that name if anybody wants to roll spout lore to know yeah. anything about the dimmer sisters i do for someone sure. who knows about like local gangs and stuff like leo you could roll i want double the money he gave us i can get the, all the same stuff ignoring you and keeping my reputation. Uh, you want to say that before you make your spell lore roll? Uh, I'm not spelling lore. Oh, okay. Anybody else want to? I do. Dimmer Sisters definitely is a name you've heard in Ditchwater before. Wisdom? Intelligence. Uh, intelligence. intelligence. Eight. Okay. Um, the Lamp Blacks and the Red Sashes are both terrified of offending the Dimmer Sisters. They're, Let's do it then. They're frightening both of them. <laughs> yeah. For sure. And, if, and in future, if you had the Dimmer Sisters help, you could probably get rid of either one of those gangs and take their place. Awesome. But you'll have to give up Fatty for it. Sure. Fatty, Fatty. <laughs> All right. Little, I can little, care less about Little goat legs. He's so close to home. <laughs> okay. So uh, it sounds like Lizel knows what she wants to do. What about the rest of you? I mean, do you do you make any of those things public knowledge? Yeah, like Lizelle, do you tell them? Like they're a big deal; they could really help us. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes, I do tell them for sure. My okay. reaction to that, to her saying that, is right. also an indication of like the Dimmer Sisters, and I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> this is such a big deal. It's so yeah. worth it. Okay. Let's go home. Agree. Put some money in our pocket. Shar, what do you think? I agree. Let's... Okay, B. Well, I'm all after the glory, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Their I'm names not, will it... bring us glory. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna. They're, have to they're a good start go to with... hit your wagon too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So All right. Good, it's a good ally to have, I think. Okay. So, so who's the one that that turns him over? Like, who gives him the the shove off? I'll shove him off. Oh, shove, his, him off his little his little goat heart just goes. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. was in love. All right. So you you like yeah, pick him up off his knees and like push him forward. Um, and uh, whichever of the two dimmer sisters this is moves forward and puts her hand on his shoulder. Um. And he's at first he's like shouting like no please no and and then he starts to like fade kind of like um like Marty McFly in Back to the Future <laughs> he just starts to like disappear. Wait, I'm gonna have to interrupt this. Okay. Because I want to get payment out front. Okay, so he's still like half material. <laughs> I think as soon as you as soon as you think you start to think that, um, you uh, 
like in one of your free hands, like there's like a bag with coins in it. Like you just feel it materialize. In your hand. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Cool, You're like, wait a <laughs> sec. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, and, uh, he, so he starts to disappear, and as he's like finishing fading, she starts to disappear as well. And when they're both gone, all that's left is a bright red uh, feather lying on the ground in his place, and it's on fire. It's not burning away, it's just sitting there burning. And the gate, when you look up, the, the vision you saw before of the meadows is gone, and instead you see the familiar shitty streets of Ditchwater on the other side of the gate. Hmm. So if anyone wants to pick up this burning feather and take it with them, you can, but home is right through the gate. What happens if we pick it up? Can we not go home? I, I don't know. It was just left behind. Remember, the burning feather was of some religious significance to Lord Snuff. So who knows? And it was the symbol of uh, burning feather, of uh, Our Lady of Intoxication. Oh, yeah. So if it's here, it's a, sim it's a symbol that she was... Her presence, like she was watching. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pick it up. I'd Everybody's walk in. just going to be like, Ugh. We got our money. I would walk home. <laughs> All right. So if you, uh, yeah, you, I mean, turning your back on it is as much an action as taking it with you. So mm -hmm. you uh, part the gates, the iron gates, and, and return to, uh, to Ditchwater, um, ostensibly to join up with the uh, Dimmer Sisters and, and get your vengeance on those red sashes that attacked you. <laughs> And that, as they say, is that. Holy cow. Yay. Yay. <laughs> You're rich. Oh, you, guys are, you guys are so mean. <laughs> he just wanted to be your friend. He was like a, like a little Disney character who liked to drink a lot. I felt oh. so bad, but okay. I had to stick with my conquest. And my Hardened own. criminals. Right. Um, Gotta stick with your character. Yeah, so n normally we do the end of session move. We did in the middle, so there's no necessarily no reason to go over it again. Um, sure. But the same thing, like you'd get experience for your alignments, you could change your bonds. Someone, if they wanted to, could write a bond with like B and been like, B's heart is colder than I thought or whatever, <laughs> right? Or, you know. Awesome. And then all those, all those things, all those loose ends like Hague, um, the, the burning feather, um, Frog the Dwarf, that's stuff that, that I would reincorporate as we continue the game. So, cool. Yeah, that's Dungeon World. I hope everybody had a good time. That's awesome. So Yay. now is the time where we do shout outs. Yeah. So, Libby. Yay. I want to thank Miss Clicks for inviting me on the show. You, Steph, and Anna. It was awesome. It was a really good experience. I'm glad that we finally got to finish it. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Um, and that was my first D&D, so if yes. I got a chance to do another D&D, I would probably take it, because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, just follow my Twitter, which is next to my name <laughs> down below, and my stream, which is twitch.tv slash Yay! And Jess? Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was entertaining for you. This was my first D and D as well, so oh, that's uh, awesome. <laughs> I, had, I had an awesome time. I'm. I hope I get to play again so I can get better using my imagination because I'm so rusty with that. It's yeah. like I have to pretend I'm a six year old again. It's so cool. <laughs> uh, you know, I hope I hope Olivia and I inspired some people to try it because that's that's what Miss Clicks is all about is you know being in a community where you can try new stuff so get out there and try D&D &D. it's awesome um, if you want to follow me you can follow my Twitter that's the best way to keep up with me I post all my art and stuff on Twitter I also have an Etsy shop hold on I have an Etsy shop where I have um, a couple of prints right now I actually do my own I do illustrations and then I print them on fabric and then I make stuff out of that fabric awesome. so I'm, I'm just getting started <laughs> uh, I I only have one print right now it's a really cute like overlord polka I saw dot I saw scarf. pictures of that overlord scarf it is rad thank yeah. you thank you, you need to post, post a link yeah, post yeah. So, okay. here I'll put it in the chat too so if you have if you have lady friends that are Zerg, 
Oh my god! I'm, I'm poor. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. buy, buy her a scarf. She'll love it. That's I'm pretty sweet. Cool. I'll send it to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> do you gonna do some Terran stuff at some point? Uh, yep. Stick with the I don't care. I got. The... No, I'm doing, I'm doing <laughs> one of each. I've got a pylon one and a SCV one. Uh, in scarf form. Yep. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. awesome. That's send me a cool. send me a PM when you're you're supplied for one. <laughs> oh hell yeah! For serious. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. No, no, me too. I want my Darren <laughs> one. <laughs> Go ahead, Neil. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Dungeon World's fun. Thank you, Adam, for DMing. You're really good at this stuff. Thank uh, you. I appreciate you have being here. Uh, I'm going to be playing Deus Ex after this. I think I'm going to take like a 15 minute break to get some water, go to the bathroom, etc. But then I'm going to be doing my, the rest of my Deus Ex playthrough. And generally speaking, uh, I don't have anything going on until the middle of August, when on August 12th, we start my next marathon stream. And that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about for the next month. So, <laughs> uh, so you won't be able to forget ever. I'm done. <laughs> nice. Adam. Um, obviously I want to thank Miss Clicks for having me because this was super fun and I totally didn't know it was your first time playing the two of you. That's so cool. I'm really excited <laughs> that Dungeon World got to be your first game. Uh, thanks to everybody for coming and watching and for being patient when we had this explode on us twice. Yes. So yes, very cool. You. Um, shout outs to John Harper for his playtest game Blades in the Dark from which I stole all of the names for the characters in this game. Um, it's coming up with names is really hard, so thanks, John. <laughs> um, and to the Tavern, which is our Google Plus group. Uh, if you want to know more about Dungeon World, you can go to our subreddit, just r slash Dungeon World, or go on Google Plus to the Tavern, just do a search for Tavern Communities, or follow us on Twitter at Dungeon underscore World. Um, the text of the game, if you're curious, is free. Just Google Dungeon World text. There's a text version of the game available online. If you want to buy it, go to DungeonWorld.com and buy it. Then buy it again. Buy some more. It's a good. Thing. That's okay. it for me. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, well, my name is Stephanie. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Um, you know me from nothing because I'm usually behind <laughs> <laughs> doing know. social media and stuff for Miss Clicks D and D. So um, keep an eye out on MissClicks.com. We are doing some really fun things. Um, at MLG, we got a million interviews from all the women we could find who were participating and working at the event and fans as well um, to try to let everybody know that women are attending these events and we want to get more to come out and enjoy this cool industry that we love. Um, as for me, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can. It's uh, Stephanie Aaron P. Put it in this chat thing. Otherwise, uh, more importantly, follow Miss Clicks, uh, M I S S C L I K S, on all of the things. Uh, that is it. Um, I was just thinking, as, as is, I understand the tradition of these things, I'll start a QA thread on Miss Clicks Reddit. If anybody yes. has questions about running games or Dungeon World or whatever. I like answering questions about stuff. So come on over. And yeah. Have. Cool. Uh, we'll put the VODs up within a week. Thanks Doked. for tuning in. Right. Thanks, Thanks, everybody. everybody. Thank have you. a wonderful evening. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh.